let me show you the general methodology for pump selection and this is just what I think is the basic one there is no actual rules or methodology or perfect methodology for pump selection actually many people will think that pump selection is more an empirical and learned method and not an actual theoretical method that's true depends strongly on your type of industry and type of practices you make in your work but this is a general notion so you get an idea on how we start and select pump in the industry so the first thing we need to know is which type of pump we're going to operate is it going to be centrifugal is it going to be uh, rotatory is positive displacement is it going to be axial or dynamical and so on we need to know that and how do we do this well we have two approaches and once again these are not the only ones but are the most common ones that you will see in books the first one is the specific velocity criteria which is essentially doing a analysis on the velocity of the pump we're using and the diameter we're using and we relate those and then we choose in the graph what is the best pump. The other one is a little bit more uh, let's say simple it's a graph which which depends on volumetric flow rate and head so depending on that you will get different areas which will tell you what type of pump should you choose. So now that you know your pump you can, sorry, you can go to section uh, sorry to step number two which is Go with your supplier and check out which different type models and pump system do they have. If you got radial or you got axial or you got reciprocal pump, go with your supplier and tell him I'm operating this volumetric flow rate. I think the best operation should be axial. What are the type of axial pumps do you uh, offer and so on? He's going to give you, of course, a lot of information, and that's good because every time is going to be more and more pumping equipment and different suppliers and once you get the idea on what type of pumps do you have it's time to well probably you you should do this before going to this but okay calculate the curve of the system and once you have the curve of the system you will see what is the best pump from your supplier to work with this so this is more like fitting a tailored suit. Once you have the suit, you want to fit it for you. So we're going to choose some pumps, different diameters, which is better for you, pump requirements, efficiencies, uh, and so on. And once you find out, you just need to find the operation point, which is number four. Once you choose a pump, you choose your system of operation, intersect both lines. Recall that the pump curve goes like this, and the system head goes like this and you choose it and this point right here will be your pump uh, or your operation line and yeah essentially once you're done with that it's time to optimize that point so you're going maybe to say well if I do this if I close some gates gate valves or so I will move this system of the, of the cube, uh, curve system here and I will have better efficiency and I will use less power requirements so and so on this is time to optimize it, okay? And yeah, finally, once you get your final operation, ask your boss or so if it's okay and you're done. You can buy that pump, install it, do some tests and start operating it. This was a free preview. If you want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you're for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps the video is right here you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.